Hello everyone, it's Mike Vazar here, and welcome back to the channel where we talk about Byzantine music, singing technique, and music theory in general. Now, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. Now, with today, we're going to continue our singing technique series, and we're going to talk about vocal maintenance. Specifically today, I'm going to talk to you guys about what to do in the morning if you find you're sick on the day of a performance. Now, here's a scenario that many of us have faced in the past. Maybe it's the morning of a big concert or the morning before vocal competition. And you wake up and you find out that you're very congested, you have a very sore throat, and you just feel like it's the worst day for you to sing. And I know I've had these experiences. I know of many other people that have these experiences. It's very unfortunate. However, there are ways to alleviate these things and get back to normal. On the morning of any big performance or competition, what you should make a habit of doing is taking a hot shower with a lot of steam. I mean closing the bathroom doors and locking in all the steam so that it can really circulate throughout your lungs and your sinuses. Now why do this? Well one, the steam warms up your sinuses and your lungs. It allows all of that thick mucus that's stuck back in your sinus. And I know many of you know what I'm talking about. It allows a lot of that to start loosening up and be able to come out. Now, as you progress throughout the day, you will become decongested. It with a hot shower is that Instead of having to wait throughout the day to become decongested, it does it right away, immediately. Now, you don't only have to do a hot shower, there's other techniques. For example, this device, it's called a My Pure Mist, free. Uh, it's kind of expensive, it'll run you a couple, I think it's like 150. But let's say on the morning before big concert or performance, it's gonna take an hour and a half to drive there. So you don't have a time to shower in the morning. Well, this. It's a portable shower. Why? You turn it on and it produces steam. This one has water you fill in the back and then you can increase the temperature. And what you do with it, hold it like this and steam will produce and it's the same effect as having a hot shower. Now one downside with this is that it's not as effective as a hot shower in my opinion. I've tried both of them I feel like this one does the job, but not as well as a hot shower. But let's say you have to drive to a concert or someone driving to a concert and you have time to shower. Easy. Just put this on in the car. So now that you have all of your mucus loosened up, it's time to remove it. Now, here's one method I found out online that I really think is a good method. This method requires building up carbon dioxide and letting it go. I recommend you do this while you're in the shower or over a sink because it could get messy. Pinch your nose, hold your breath, and shake your head up and down. This is what it should look like. And then, after you do that, let go of your nose, and all of the CO2 will blow out all the mucus, and you'll become instantly decongested. Even I'm not congested today, I still feel like it really opened up my sinuses. Now, this method is easy. And you can do it anywhere you want. I just recommend you do it over a sink or in your shower because it could get messy if you have a lot of mucus. Now that we've talked about how to unclog our sinuses from mucus, let's talk about how to alleviate our throats when they're sore. Now one thing that I do occasionally is drink a spoonful of honey. This provides immediate relief and gratification. This will soothe your throat. But the thing with this is it only lasts around five minutes. It's not that long. Now, you could simply just drink a spoonful of honey every five minutes or whenever you feel your throat getting scratched again. However, your doctor probably recommends you don't drink that much sugar. It's not that good for you. Now, here's my solution that allows you to incorporate honey as well as another super ingredient, lemon. You simply drink hot tea with lemon and honey prior to your performance. Now, when I say prior, I mean one to two hours before. I do not recommend that you drink any lemon 20 minutes, 30 minutes before your performance, maybe even a full hour, because the lemon pulp really lingers in your throat and can cause a burning sensation. But in the morning when you have a sore throat, lemon works miracles. Same with honey. And also, the hot tea works to warm things up even further. This triple concoction with these three ingredients really help to alleviate your sore throat. So now that we've talked about how to relieve our congestion and talk about how to relieve a sore throat, let's talk about water. 
Water is very important when singing because you have to stay hydrated. But one grave issue that a lot of singers make is drinking cold water. You don't want to drink ice water. Ice water will start to tighten everything back up again and really regress from what we were trying to establish before, a really warmed up system that is more open. Now, drinking lukewarm water might not be the most exciting, but trust me, it will work miracles when you're singing. It will prevent any bad things from happening when you're drinking water. And you should try to drink water to clear out the tea. Remember how I talked about the lemon and honey and how the lemon pulp can really cover up your throat and ruin things? Drinking lukewarm water will clear out everything. So you have the benefits of drinking the hot tea with lemon and then wash it out with water so you have a perfectly clean slate for singing. So now that we've cleared our sinuses and our throats, here's what we should do now. Warm up. A lot of singers fail to warm up before they sing and this can lead to massive vocal injury. Trust me, I have sometimes neglected to warm up before I sing and my voice just dies out on me 30 minutes. For some people, it takes even less time. For some people, they can survive a little longer without warming up. Now, here's the thing. When you're warming up, right in the morning, you want to be conservative. You do not want to warm up the very, very, very tippy, tippy top of your range. But you can warm up at the bottom of your range. Why? Because when you're not warmed up, it's easier to sing lower notes. I've experienced this. Many other singers have experienced this. However, it might be different for you. What you should do is pick the lowest note you feel comfortable singing in the morning. For example, Ma, that's like a pretty low note that I'm comfortable with. Ma, me, me, ma, mo. That's one rope you can do. And I recommend you want to go three half steps before your upper maximum. Then another warm up you can do is the arpeggio. This warms up your diaphragm and your vocal range as well. Si, oh, si, oh, si. And then this one, I really like, it warms up your range and your diaphragm as well, is a scale. Now the scale goes all the way up the whole scale and then one note higher and then all the way back down. Here's what it sounds like. Et cetera, et cetera, all the way throughout your entire range. Now these three warm ups, I find a very, 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 very good for warming up. However, be conservative. You don't want to hit the very, very high notes of your range. And if you can hit the low notes of your range, do it. But I recommend you don't push them. You want to just be conservative, sing what you know you can sing, and don't push it. As you progress throughout the day, then you can start singing the higher notes and the really low notes. But when you wake up in the morning, don't push it. So now we've learned how to decongest our sinuses help alleviate a sore throat, and how to warm up before singing. Remember, stay conservative. You don't want to push anything before the day or the morning of a big performance. Why? You don't want to hurt our voices. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one and have a great day.